Good day guys, my name is Ademola Badmos and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, do not forget to like and subscribe. And um, I would also recommend that you watch Java and Selenium video first before you um, try to jump on this so it will be easier to follow as some important topics and uh, has been uh, discussed in that series. So moving on, we've started a scenario outline and we are looking for ways to make it a uh, more readable so let's complete this step we've been able to do for standard user let's do that of a uh, problem user and also um sorry glitch user and locked user so we can click call this glitch and in glitch is also a success but in locked user in locked user there is an error right so let's format this we we'll go to code and click on reformat file and run it so now to get those steps done we just need to come into our login steps here and put a break this is a break since success is the same it will be reused do not forget that so this one can be called error and um, in error we get the error message right now and we put that here so this works just like this and for the users we can now call this a glitch and um, we can call this locked right we uh, we won't be using this anymore at this point so that's why it is uh, commented out ideally I wanted to delete it but uh, <coughs> People can still make reference to it in the previous video so at this point it is not needed anymore but um, let's just still leave it there but when we are doing the code cleanup I would have to clean it um, maybe I would make a revert well I would just have to clean it anyway so let's just run this and see let's see that uh, it works for all four features that we've done as you can see still works the performance glitch will take its time and um, it will get in and then um, the locked user still works and because we use the what was it, we use the um so it calls them as an example now so each example i can get um, what goes on inside and it is successful so with that done let's uh, what if we can find a way to write less instead of having all these insertions like this what if you can have just one code one code now we already have an insert text so at this point our insert text will no longer be private it will be public that's all we need to do make this public and um, we already know the text field since the text field is the same right since the text field is the same it's okay for us based on our test try to understand this it is important i said i was going to mention it in this video understand the peculiarity here your username field is the same that is why we do not the only variable understand that when you're passing in arguments they essentially have to be dynamic arguments that you do not that such that they are dynamic that anything that you pass into it would work so if it is a constant value you might not pass it as an argument i really want you to understand this when it is constant because the username field will remain the same for this particular test case so you might have a different test case that has a different text field okay take, take for instance let's log in as a standard user now and let's add to cart let's go through that journey and uh, this is the cart let's try to check out you know at this point we'll insert something so it is a different text field different text field different text field at that point in time it makes sense to have something like this to have something like this this insert text to have a different text field and a different text so it is different because that is now a very big test so you have 
created a reusable insertion method. Now, if you are concentrating on just the login and that's all you're doing, and you know the login will only take just one particular username field, right? So you, do, you might not need your username field there. But I'm not going to change what is here. I'm going to leave it this way. So you would probably understand it more. Maybe when you understand it better, then we can go ahead and change it. So we are going to use the insert text. And we are going to make some, thing, some changes here. The username is what? Is username standard user. This is problem user. And this is, um, let me get the real name in the selectors. The, the other one is uh, performance glitch user, right? This is performance glitch user. And the locked out user is this, right? So we have all that we need here so we are putting the values here already now the 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 idea here is let's format the file the idea here is we'll just have one insert and we'll be putting in the value the value here will be read into it let me make it make more sense right so let's go into our step definition so here that we have where we, where we have I uh, insert the user we can comment this whole thing out before we clean it up let's just comment it out for now and in here instead of having a switch case what we will just have is LPS insert a text right insert a text as you can see it needs two values so it means at this point which is a lot of work for us that was why I said, let's just first do this method. I want everybody to understand it. So it means we have to import our interface file here. But we could have just avoided that. But it's fine. So let's, uh, in, uh, let's um, import our interface file, same as selectors. So now we are here. So we want to insert the pass, insert a text. So in this text, we just all we just need to do is call the username field the username field right and after calling the username field was was our argument here yeah, text right was our argument so username field we just put in text so it means at every point in time it sees this uh, it will be passing in this value standard user problem user performance glitch user and locked out user let's test and see if it works As you can see, it works. It's passing in the value. So we have reduced like 19 steps to just one. So here, instead of having all of this, all these steps, we can remove it and have just this. So it's at every point in time, it needs to insert the user. It will just pick that particular one. It will pick that particular one. So you see how powerful the BDD script is. It allows you to reuse a lot. Now, we can leave this like this. Or we can also put in, maybe if there's a message, just understand the particular script you're working with and now and its uh, behavior, you will be able to pass in the right values. I would recommend that you. it has gotten to... Uh, I would admit that the, uh, the BDD had got into some technical parts. So I recommend that you watch the video over and over again. And please, my contact is everywhere on my page. You can also reach out to me if you need um, extra tutorials, private tutorials. I charge a token for those. But um, if this will work for you, all the better. Thank you for getting this far with me. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.